All right, arena time. Oh, Volta! I have to kill everyone. Sula? Again? Okay, his symbol is basically Ouroboros. It's just like pretzel Ouroboros. So do I rock the pretzel Ouroboros or the like really cool one? So it was an ass have to kill him twice, but look, it's Pater. Pater's got the Death Stranding symbol. Middle Flatwell. Ooh, Subasa. Pater's the EO unit. Oh, you're right. That head dead giveaway. Um, okay. Volta. Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and Mars. Did you try all of them? Arena Which is your favorite? Evaluation program. Number 17. Entering rank C. Jupiter's the cucumber one, Center right? AC. I don't like that Cannon one. Head. Call sign, gun four, Volta. Volta. Oh, his call sign's like a beetle. Commencing evaluation. I think I like all of them except for Jupiter's. They don't make a Saturn one, though. I think everybody, including Pluto and Chibiusa, have one. But Saturn doesn't have one. She's the only one. It sucks. Where are you? Vol Volta. There you are. If she does have one, I've never seen it. But... Oh, I can't heal. I forgot. I'm gonna die. I was taking too many hits because I was just like, it's okay, we can heal. I'm dead! They also- I think- I think it's also by Ocean Bomb, but they have Street Fighter ones too. I think the Ken one is the white grape one. That's my favorite. Oh! And... I think Trunks in the DBZ line is white grape as well, because I love white grape drinks. Oh, yeah, set. Unfortunately, Uranus is the mango one. Wait, no, no, Uranus has, doesn't she have pineapple? I'm dying. Wait, Venus is the mango? White grape, like green grape? I think so. It's just, it's like, just called white grape. Yeah, he didn't die. I just restarted checkpoint. Oh, I know he comes from over here somewhere. Here's is the mango. Who's pineapple then? Uranus is pineapple. See, that's what I thought. Who's mango then? <laughs> Unless there's like two lines and they're different flavors. So I'm talking about the ocean bomb ones. Which is pineapple. Venus is mango. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm like, I know which one of them is pineapple, one is mango, but I know it's one of them. The Chi... Chibiusa...
I like how holding fucking L2 doesn't do squat. Hold L2 to melee, they said. It'll work. It's like you just... You're like near an explosion, it just resets everything. I'm a mech, okay? I don't get stuff. Where are you? I lost him. Jesus! I just so much damage. I should bust out the tanks. We have a tank versus tank fight. I hate that it takes so long to start the fight though, because it's to like climb over the dumb fucking hill. I can't do anything. Do like the same move there. Cool. I switch my legs. I know it's just well, I die in like two hits and I can't heal. So this looks like. Tank leg time. <laughs> tank versus tank. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Number 17. Entering. Main system. Activating combat mode. Now we wait. Oh, that can't do any damage now. I mean, you're stunning me, but like, it's not taking any damage. <laughs> I mean, I am. I have to be careful. So cool that I can't press L2 during the hours of between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. I'm fucking charging my sword. What do you want from me? God damn it. <laughs> what is going on? Charge your weapon. I hate this game. Oh my God. <laughs> I've been- do you know how many times I was pressing L2 to charge my sword, but I couldn't because of some, like, arbitrary, like, little 
stun that I did not even know what's going on. That whole fucking match was just like, honestly how it felt like. Sorry, you can't use, you can't charge your sword between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Try again tomorrow. But the two fucking tanks fighting each other is so funny. Well, I'm glad that I couldn't lock on. I'm glad that I can't lock on. <laughs> there he is. Stuck! Charge your sword! saying about grudge warriors <laughs> this is how i imagine that game <laughs> looking like when i was a kid it wasn't anything like this but little kid imagination made anything look like this <laughs> i know <laughs> going up that hill and smacking into each other god that fight was so stupid with two tanks <laughs> Bye, J-Rex. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, let's take these stupid fucking legs out. Oh. Oh, I probably have enough for the Fermiza. Arena. Oh, Pater. Oh, Pater's gonna be fast. We're definitely gonna eat shit here. Peter's gonna teach us a thing or two. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 16, rank C. Damn, dude. I like your head. Summer Can I have it? C. Dual nature. Call sign V8 Peter. Commencing evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. Both of me start flying at each other. Oops. Okay, this dude, like, wants to gain some distance. God, that was so fucking close. I'm like, can some one of my weapons please recharge? Woo! Destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. <sighs> that one HP. I literally I needed anything. GG, Pater. Can I have your weapon? Your. Can I have your head? <laughs> Rip his head off. What the fuck? They didn't give us our head! His head! No! Why have I been playing this stupid game? Wait, oh, I don't have enough money for anything I want. Alright, well, Sula time. I just wanted Pater's head. And then I could just have retired. Oh, it's raining! Wait, it's raining on a rooftop? Is this Devil May Cry 3? I do really like his call sign, though, or his emblem. Commencing evaluation. Another easy victory for the Frieza Empire. Main system activating combat mode. See, the cool thing is, 
Velko's nowhere to be found. He can't stop us. Or his dumb little friends. Razor just had a way to outlive all of them. <laughs> and turn himself into a mech. Like this kind of mech. Want to shoot the kick finisher for Sula? Woo! Target destroyed. I love a villains. Listen, if I had the option, if this was like a fictional world, I would definitely join the villain side. I'd be like, hey, Freeze, I'm really useless, but like, I'll join you. Whoa! Valiant got me the, <laughs> the Wesker shirt off throne, but did it make an alert? I just got the notification on my email. Oh, like two hours ago, I missed it! Oh my god, Valiant, thank you. I kicked him into pieces. Whatever side Wesker's on. Whatever side Wesker's on, whatever side Freeze is on. <laughs> Virgil. Virgil's a nice boy now, though, so I don't have to be on the villain side. Hey, thank you, thank you! I can't wait. I have the matching Virgil one, so now I'm gonna have really obnoxiously retro obsessed t-shirts of Wesker and Virgil. <laughs> yeah, let's throw that the throne alert sometimes just don't go off. Womp womp. Thank you. Villain again, second benefits him? Maybe. But I'd like to think... I'd like to give him the benefit of the doubt and think that... his character growth throughout 5 as V probably taught him... taught him the way. Because he gets to hang out with and be... Palace of Dawn say, I don't think he'd want to abandon that anymore. The core has been armored. Frieza has been armored. I'd be the one giving him the briefings. <gasps> Are you saying I could be like... I could be... Oh my god, I could be like their Hunnigan. Or their Naomi's. Or their Oracles even. Oh my god. No, he loves his brother. Didn't you beat Devil May Cry 5? They love each other. Chatty Stick. The right hand of Rad's ringleader and chief engineer, Cinder Carla. Wait, what? One day, Carla built a simple suggestion based AI to provide basic support and occasional entertainment. However, no matter what con conversational prompt she gave him, he would never say more than necessary, and said she seemed that he was content to be a good listener to his creator's free spirit eccentric ideas. So we have to kill him for it? Night, Arid. Is this that same guy? So I watched anything, what's up? Watching anything ever in life? That's wild. Armored Core is gonna blow your mind then. Subject AC, Circus, Call what the fuck is that emblem? Stick. I don't wanna kill him. Now that's an Eggman that's robot. Cinder was not controlling the giant magnet clear. Right, but this isn't... well, I mean, this is still different from that vacuum cleaner. This isn't, like, his, like... His, like, son. <laughs> hey! Back here. Oh, he's fast. You know, for somebody named Chatty Sick, I expect it to be a lot chattier than this. Got the kick. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done.
Yeah, these are just like little side things in Armored Core. Wait till you see like a real boss fight. Chai nickname is meant to be ironic. Oh, hence why it's in quotations. They tricked me. I fell for their dumb ruse. Middle Flatwell. <laughs> Got her. They did. They're all laughing. I didn't even read the description. Oh, I like those arms. Subject AC, Tsubasa. Call sign, Middle Flatwell. Commencing evaluation. Tsubasa looks cool. Okay, you don't want to get kicked, is that it? You also don't want to get sorted. I mean, I technically use it, but then I, I got staggered. I canceled it out. Oh, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Where are you? I can't kick him to save my life. Die, don't die, don't die. Woo, that was close. I spent half the round trying to kick him, and then I'm just like, well, I can't do that, so I just gotta shoot. Oh, I, did I read them all later earlier? All right, we killed him. Thanks, Tsubasa. Can I have your arms? Middle Flatwell, your flag's boring. I want that dude's head with those arms. Congratulations. You have surpassed rank C. Yes. We hope that our aid has helped push you to achieve greater things. All mind exists for all. <laughs> Great chest ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, I based him look like Frieza. Not Rusty. Rusty never wants to talk to us. Alright, well, I can buy... Is this... Oh, these were the arms. It... Oh my god, he had the Fermiza set, and I'm over here like, I want your arms, and I straight up have them. Like, the... they did vaguely look like Fermiza arms. He... Did he have the legs, though? Because I can afford them now. Hold on, I know I'm overburdened, but... If I get the Fermiza arms equipped. Wait, I didn't. I didn't buy them. I thought I did. Well, I guess we can wait. Or was that the core? Oh, it was the core that I bought. So I still have to get the, the... I basically have no piece of the Fermiza. <laughs> Check their loads in their bios and equip if you have the pirates. Oh, that's cool. There we go. No longer overburden. My AP sucks, though. I'm gonna die so fast. Like, look at the difference. God, it looks so cool, though. It's okay. If things get hectic... I can just swap to the thick thick boys again. Yeah, minus. <laughs> Still get hit. Yep. Just don't get hit. Words to live by. It was so cool. I can't wait to get the Fermiza arms. All right. Wish me luck. And oh my god, four. All right. Wish me luck and new. Wait, 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 what's that? Oh, there's a decision to be made. Oh, well, I'm going to pick whichever one Rusty recommends. We're doing the Rusty route. Get real good at dodging and zoom everywhere. Yeah, but I don't know if I can really do that. Never been hit once in this game. Oh, you. 
Here, let's, uh, we have 18 OST chips. Damage mitigation? That just, that ups your defense, so that's good to have, obviously. That's expensive, though. Alright, our melee is fully upgraded. How's decisions made? I'm sure it's gameplay related, but wait, so that means you can't redo the mission? To like, remake your decision? Redo the mission you choose. So... Middle flat was using full Fermiza? Yeah, 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 okay, that makes sense. Because those, the arms, the arms and chest definitely looked familiar. When I was looking at the arms, I'm just like, I want your arms, but then I realized, like, they kind of look like Fermiza. Okay, that's cool, though. So he has the Fermiza set. We're becoming him. Almost. I need to get the arms. Here, my question with the, the decision mission, is it like, is it like a, um, a decision you make, like, um... How do I want to say? How do I want to put this? Like at the end of a mission, is it going to be like, uh, Frieza, you have to go here or here? Like, is it spoken to you, or is it kind of just like you have to figure it out yourself? The mission's decision. Oh. Oh, I see, I see. So it's not in the mission. It is the mission. So I have to do this or this. Oh. See, I I wouldn't have known that. So I would have done this by default because it's just like the first one on the list. I assume that the decision was in there. I see. Okay. Um. Just two is offering the best pay. Well, I feel like this one's offering the best p pay. But what if that means that's like it's a trap? They want you to pick the one that pays you more. I had no idea until I beat one of the missions. Yeah, then it, that's, that's how you learned all the hard way. Thought the same thing, just did the first one. Yeah, look at us. Look at us all just having the same thoughts. Listen to the briefings. Oh, okay, well that's good. Well, I'm not worried about that. Let's do these first two that aren't decisions. Rusty? Down where the coral is gathering in the ice field. According to my friend's sources, we could find some clues. He keeps here. saying my friend. I'm thinking he's just talking about him. Xylem, a city floating on the ocean built by the Rubicon Research Institute. According to my friend. I sense the fires. The place has been abandoned. It's likely hiding secrets about the coral, kept shrouded by the city's ECM fog. My friends already tried sending in a survey drone, only to lose it in the interference. That's where you come in. I want you to disable the ECM fog. I want you. I mean, my friend so wants you to disable. Right now, the corporations are preoccupied with the PCA. We can be the first ones to identify where the coral is converging. Ooh, we're discovering where the coral is coming from. My friend. Okay, cool. So you can, st you're right. You can still see the debriefing before you pick the mission. That's cool. Then I actually know who I would be supporting. You do this mission asking for a friend. Not me, by the way. <laughs> going to what with comms? Oh. Oh no, our connection. Oh my god. Oh, he's going through a tunnel as well. Like this guy, this joker. My friend says I'm cooler than Rusty, but I need a second opinion. The ECM won't interfere with our contact, but it is affecting your lock-on range. 
Keep an eye on your surroundings. This is freaking PS1 game. This is freaking Silent Hill. <gasps> Oh, we look so cool. Skinny Mac, skinny Mac. All right, what am I doing? Shut down fog control. I don't know what they look like. Wait, I'm like constantly on the border. No, don't say that. Oh my god, can you imagine Blue Routine making Ace Combat? I mean, Armored Core. What is wrong with me? Next, I'll start saying Animal Crossing for real. What the fuck is this border? I don't know why I keep saying. Like, I know they're not the same. Okay, is, are there these? <laughs> what, what are the fog control devices? Like, I'm stuck. Is it these big things? Nope, just pillars. Crisis core. Yeah, it's a thing. It's path of red lights. Oh, there is? Oh, I see. Oh. Thank you. I did see them, kind of. I was like... I didn't... I didn't think about going to them. Well, that's awfully nice because, yeah, this, this place is foggy. Can we go down then? Oh, nice. Oh, this place looks so cool. This reminds me of Red, also. God, this game looks like such poo poos. Freaking, ugh. PS2 game, am I right? <laughs> I really like concept art style photos where the character's always on the like, the far left or the far right and it's most of the landscape. Yeah, where's Vavel? God, it looks like trash. <laughs> I'll stop. Oh. <laughs> Start kicking it. Did you just blow up? Will you make- Oh my god! Maybe! I wonder how hard that'd be. No, that'd be- Oh my god, Altair. I can't even thought of that. That's so smart. Pen Rad Chimp, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome. Wait, I've lost my way. That's just telling me that's like the last one I've ignited, right? All right. Um. Oh, there's, there's the other one. I'm like, help! I'm lost. It's like I'm looking for my mom at the grocery store. I'm just like, uh, where'd she go? God, the city looks such shit. Why am I even playing this game? It doesn't even look like a PS7 game. Ugh. <laughs> I'm watching a Big Mac look around all confused. John Travolta so. Should we see how many highway signs we can destroy? Definitely passed. Did I destroy a lot? Oops. Ow. Two repair kits remaining. I love how mobile I am now. Okay, so that was the last one we lit up. Mom?
That feels so much better to be super speedy. I'm stuck. Too fast! <laughs> Uh, that way or that way? Maybe this one? I see you! Oops. Hey, Bowman. Armored Royale. This looks like the wireframe on the original Star Wars. You know, I booted up the game, I thought that's exactly what I was playing. Just like gross wireframe everywhere. Yeah, like look at this water. Oh, it's all it's all see-through and shit. I like when my water is brown and opaque. really nice water though. <laughs> When's he going gold? Maybe for the final boss? I'm happy I have a speedy mech now. Oh my god! Hostile readings? You could have warned me like a second earlier. What the fuck is the point of having a sword if you can't use it? No repair kits remaining. Where is he? Oh, he's got an electric whip. That's cool. Oh, you're going to die from it. Fortunately, the data we found helped to identify where the last ECM device is. I've set a marker for it. Let's check it out. Oh, thanks, Ultra Kabuto. That's very kind. Welcome so back, Tim. If Final boss kills you, then you turn to Gold Frieza? Yeah, there you go. Which he will. There's no way in hell I'm gonna first try a final boss. So the water in Horizon for us, pretty shock. That's some nice water. I'll have to go back and look at it. Pimpsy. We'll have back His name this. is Pimpo. This whole time I've been like holding the triangle button and I just realized I don't have to hold it. I what? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Shit. I anticipate that building being there. I'm not locked on. All right, well, I'm definitely not going to make it. Definitely not going to make it because I'm dying. Oh my god, go! If I if I scoot too much, I end up in a building. Okay, so this is just to keep them busy. This is scary. This is so cool though. I love this city. I said this on Discord, but I really feel like Armored Core is the type of game FromSoft's been wanting to make for so long, but it's like, mech games are pretty niche, so they probably just assumed, you know, it wouldn't sell well, but like FromSoft can literally just sell things based on their name now. And that's so, I'm so incredibly happy for them. And for people getting into mech games. 
Yeah, they have, so, they have like, actual clout now. It's kind of hard to do that, because it's like... Like, even Capcom, like, they're, they're a big company. I know they're mostly a publisher, but they dev stuff too, you know? And it's like... Not everyone's just gonna buy a Capcom game just because it's Capcom. People will buy FromSoft games because it's FromSoft. It's so sick. But it's like, yeah, it, it's really like the game... It, it feels like this is just from the heart from them. It's just an action game they've always wanted to make. Like, like with this budget, obviously. Because I know, I obviously this is a six, so I know there's Armored Core 1 through 5, but... This is definitely next level. That's my buddy. From the heart, Soft. Wait, is, is that my buddy? That's, is that my buddy? That's not my buddy. I kind of wish I, like, actually did start over for the checkpoint. Because like, maybe I could have gotten my first try if I had the healing items. Because I'm definitely going to die. I had none when I started this. Wait, there's Armored Core spinoffs? Yeah, before people probably play Armored Core because they like mech games, but now people are playing Armored Core just because it's from Saw. You like getting that game developer clout isn't like on the level of FromSoft. Like I don't think it's it's that common. I'm gonna kick you. I guess I did beat it on my first try, <laughs> with no healing items. I guess that wasn't that hard since you had the help distracting him. Woo! Okay, hold on. No, I ruined it because I was not facing the right direction. That would have been so cool! Here's me and my explosion. There's 14 armor core games. Damn, I didn't even know there was there were spinoffs. Yeah, I could replay the mission. That wouldn't I mean if I did it my first try like that, I could definitely just keep redoing it. Ooh, we get to try to S rank it later. Yeah, even the handler's like, see this guy's a bitch though. That was cool. Is Rusty no impressed though? No! No no mess no one's impressed! <laughs> I did the coolest shit on my first try and no one sent me a message. Oh, thank God, the voice in our head is always here for us, though. Yeah. And stranger still, the PCA personally intervened to block the survey. Robo. Here's me and the prostitutes. And to Walter's friend. We made like four or five sequels on Record 3. That's silly. That's like... I guess it's kind of like Dynasty Warriors, where there's there's nine Dynasty Warriors games, but there's actually more like 50. <laughs> Maybe well, not 50. There's more like 30, because it's like there's dynasty. There's always like a Dynasty Warriors Tactics, Dynasty Warriors Extreme Legends, for like almost all of them. Yeah, they're all like expansions and stuff. A lot of them are very similar games though. But yeah, it, I assume it's like that. Extreme stuff like Extreme Legends would just be DLC now, which is pretty wild. Cause all all the Extreme Legends uh versions for Dynasty Warriors would be like cheaper. They'd be like 30 instead of 50 for PS2. Yeah, I I'm a huge Dynasty Warriors fan. <laughs> 
But yeah, but like now, now you're not gonna get like 30 Dynasty Warriors sequels per game just because it's all gonna be DLC. Is a business software dev before switching a game? Oh shit, I didn't know that. Good for them. And I love the Empire's games. I love Dynasty Warriors 8. 7 and 8. Or, well, maybe more so 8. Is probably one of my more favorite ones. See when it's two expansion games that came before two came out? I see. Nine is so bad. I didn't even play nine after the update. When they like made it better. I don't know. Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, eight was great. It was it felt it felt like they actually put high production in it. Like all the cutscenes have been unlike the other games, first of all. So many characters, so much variety, and then it's like they have a curse where like Dynasty Warriors 1 through 5 kind of had like a steady incline of them improving on their systems and whatnot. And then like 6 came out and no one really liked it because there's like six movesets. And then they fixed that in 7 and 8. And then they did the same thing with 9, where it's just limited, because everything's, like, realistic. So there's, like, very few movesets. And, like, people had different weapons that they wouldn't normally have. And I think I think the update fixed that, where it's, like, they have their interesting weapons that everyone has, or that they've always had. It's like... You saw what happened to 6! <laughs> anyway, this is not about Dynasty Warriors. From Star Wars 3 AC games in 04? What? Why th what? Why 3? Plus Metal Wolf Chaos, also Kuon. I love Kuon. I keep forgetting that's a FromSoft game. So, so there's a chance that FromSoft could want to be like, you know, going back to their little horror roots. They're like, well damn, Armored Core did so well and, you know, the horror, the horror game uh, side of things is booming because, you know, Resident Evil's king again. Silent Hill has a lot of hype around it, so shit, let's bring back Kuon. I never played Osugi. <laughs> this is about Ace Combat. Three epic kingdoms in a realistic story. I know it's so boring. Like, the reason those games are so much fun is because it's so over the top. I don't think anybody asked for a realistic Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, well, I mean, Kesson's a different thing. Guan Yu and his 80 pound weapon, right? <laughs> Let's get back inside for bed. <laughs> Miyazaki directed Kuan as a potential to be mind blowing. I mean, he's. I wouldn't say like Dark Souls. Okay, Bloodborne has horror elements, but like Dark Souls and Elden Ring, that. They're not, they're not horror, but they all have horror elements to them, so seeing Miyazaki be unleashed and go full-blown horror would be so, so sick. I love Guan Yu. Just saying, his 80-pound weapon is definitely... It's like a Leon Kennedy and Darkseid Chronicles type of fib. <laughs> I need to play Nightmare Creatures. Yeah, Bloodborne's horror, but it's not like the horror game that Kuon is, though, is what I meant, but it is still a horror game, you're right. You have horror designs and, like, fucking finger creepers. I know! Imagine that in Kuon. <laughs> if they remake it or just make a new one, they should just go all out. And they probably will. They're a one hold back. God, I want that so bad now. Maybe they're actually having a development. giant hands. Yeah, exactly. That Elden Ring's not even a horror game, and one of the most horrifying things is in that game. Imagine an actual horror game from those psychos <laughs> known as From Software. It would be nuts. But just their creature design alone, too. There's some really messed up designs, but like cool ones. 
That would fit in a horror game so perfectly. Stuff of little nightmares, right? There's probably so many scrapped ideas they do have for like Souls games. Like imagine some imagine somebody like telling Miyazaki to hold back and be like, like alright, that's a little too fucked up. But if you're making a horror game, you can do as fucked up as you want. That would be un Miyazaki Unleashed. Not just him, obviously. There's there's a whole team of people who design creatures and whatnot, but yeah, all of them. <laughs> Literal sleep experiment. <laughs> oh, I can't believe... I can't believe how... how varied and how far from soft has, has gone. Oh, I never played Echo Knight. I'll have to. That's a survival horror game? I never knew that. Yeah, I didn't play Wolong. I wanted to, but Wolong came out like, uh, fuck, when did it come out? It came out like the same week as something else I, w I really wanted to stream. And so at that point, I'm like, okay, I'll just save Wolong for later, like when a DLC comes out or something. Nah, that's what, well, Kuon's not a walking uh, puzzle sim game. It's survival horror action y for PS2. So they could definitely, you know, modernize the way Kuon is. I'll have to play Echo Knight. Miyazaki didn't have the heart to reject Guinevere's big booba design because the design was so proud of his work. I, I didn't know that. From release, Monster Hunter Diary, Poka Poka Arrow Village is the same year as Bloodborne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What the hell? They're... I was over here thinking that, like, FromSoft is cracked because they were releasing... Almost, well, pretty much every year, they were releasing some big game. And then... <laughs> and then, you tell me in 2004, they've... <laughs> since, or since 2004 to, like, 2006 or whatever. Or, yeah, they're just making, like, four games a year. Now they've downgraded to one big game a year. And then, well, Bloodborne is 2005, and they just released two, two of those. Which are primary masters the same day as Wolong? Yeah, that's the one, I guess. You'll see a shift around 2014 15. I'll have to see their history. I briefly looked at it before, but I never really like, let the years sink in. <laughs> yeah, all in one year. Um, heavy missile launch support. Long time no see, tourist. I've got a job for you. Did my freaking DCA show of force has finally started to affect the humidifier get here? <laughs> I'm listening to Carla, I swear. Uh -huh. Spineless coyotes jumped at the chance to become their lackeys. Now they're feeling ambitious and sniffing around RAD territory again. I'd say this calls for fireworks, and I've got something that'll blow them away. The coyotes can be ungrateful, though. They're bound to come running to stop the launch. That's where you come in. Intercept them and defend the missiles. We'll make sure the Coyotes and the PCA get a chance to see R.A.D.'s famous fireworks. I keep just wanting to see Rad. It's almost time, Raven. Let's head over. Hopefully the dozers won't be too dosed up on cool to make an appearance. The dozers. I might take a food break after this mission. So that it remind me of the dick rocket from Austin Powers. <laughs> I like this scene when they're all pointing at it and the scenes keep segueing into other scenes to finish like you, the dick Get references. We did arrive as scheduled. I suppose they're an eager bunch. Yeah, it's one of the funniest jokes. 
That looks like a stadium like concert's going on. Play about the same as if they pronounce R A D and not red. Yeah, I hate that. Just say red. Maybe they're like, no, we can't have it confused this robot I'll have drive. Beep beep. On my way to the concert. Mom said I could stay up late. Okay, well, as long as I don't friendly fire my own missile, right? RAD is a reference to Rad. Oh god, they all have health bars at the top. But he knows his stuff. Anyway, no time for pleasantries. We've got coyotes to deal with. Never thought they'd end up palling around with the PC. Yeah, it's in the first Smart. chapter. This is where you fight Sula. Here comes the second wave. Keep the fireworks safe. They're coming from the front left side. It's a second wave. Oh shit. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Is there another one? Oh my god, jump over the thing! What do you think you're doing? Look at all those coyotes. Don't let them slip past you. We've lost one sub missile. No! They're walking all over us. Do your job, tourist. Oh fuck, you're under the water. You know, if these are that important to you, maybe you should send more than just one guy to defend it. Third wave. Is it just him? The oh, fuck is this scorpion? Definitely not getting an SR. Send more people. I'm playing around, tourist. I'm not. This is hard. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Consider, consider you guys asking too much for me. Yeah, but this shot looks real cool. The sky. There's me in the sky. <laughs> yeah, how about consider- There's like six waves. Consider setting back up. At least have one other person here. I'm not even on a work visa. This should be illegal. 
All right, well, maybe we could rush now because I was... We started without you? That's not my problem. Okay, then the second wave was this way. We're all set, Chief. Commencing missile launch sequence. Oh yeah, you haven't met. Chatty's our systems admin. Doesn't talk much, but he knows his stuff. Yeah, I fought him, so we don't anyway, kill them. No time for pleasantries. We've got coyotes to deal with. Never thought they'd end up palling around with the PCA. Smart, but not for long. Here comes the second wave. Keep the fireworks safe. Intercept Raven. That's what I like to see, Taurus. I almost pity the poor fools. Fuck. I knock him down. Where are you coming from? I tried climbing over the ledge! Foolish. Foolishness, little robot. Foolishness. They're coming from the bridge. Look at all those coyotes. Don't let them slip past you. Barbecue chicken. That's my answer. Yeah, the lighting in this is so great. I love this sky. Oh god, where's the next wave? Ah! I'm stuck. Spicier. The fuck? Come on, stop. What are you doing? <laughs> Kick it towards it. <laughs> or not. I'm always like expecting too much from my my sword. I'm over here like Go through walls. Don't let any through. Wait, maybe he's off a little tourist. Oh, I thought the one was being shot at, but it was just like the delayed hits. Oh. Some more bogeys. He climbed the wall! You? Lint Laker. Am I not lock on or what? Her gosh, it worked! <laughs> Thanks for Saturday nine months! That is a long time! Oh, the Silent Hill siren. A warship? Looks like the mega dogs have arrived. 
What? Do you want? I meant to sort it, but then... Oh my fucking god. What are you gonna do? Enjoy. The missiles are gone. Scumbags. Woo! It's me and the first missile I launched. Hello. Hi, Alan! Thank you for six months! Is that a. I don't even know the words I use. I don't schlong. <laughs> I don't know. Looks like I was a little off. Well, close enough is good enough for me. Do I have to go there? I can't remember either. I know it's just they fire off so many. So many Raven. dick names. They really are like fireworks. Hot dog. <laughs> oh, that's one. So I remember the way he says it. Mission complete. Is that a good thing, though? I feel like we just destroyed a Sector 7. I'm always down for Austin Powers Watchathon. So it looks like fireworks. Is that... Does she seem nice, like, happy about it? It looks what? like fireworks. <gasps> what? Rusty? Chatty stick, R.A.D. Thanks for helping with the fireworks show. The chief loved working with you, so don't be a stranger. That's all I had to say. Later. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's listen to the debrief. Figure out which one we want to do. Six two one. We've also got a corporate job. Corporate. Operation is approved by Balaam HQ. Liberation Front took action the regarding the Archivist's controlled wall. Ultimately, both parties were suppressed by the Planetary Closure Administration. Their loss is our gain. There won't be a better opportunity for Balaam to steal the show. We want you to head to the combat zone and eliminate the enforcement squads deployed by the PCA. So the PC are, are bad according craft, to AC. us. That's why we've chosen you. This seems like an important mission. Balaam's counting on you, Gun 13. Happy hunt. Like I could just potentially not do that seems like it'd be an important thing. The space cops. Yeah, I like the sound of that. That seems like a really important quest. So I could just not do that. And then like the world can go to shit. Quote unquote. This request comes from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Let's see what it says. Raven, we have a mission we'd like to offer you. The PCA has deployed the Cataphract, a special forces weapon specialized for ground combat. If we allow the corporations to seize this kind of technology, things will take a dire turn. I agree. We want you to deny them the opportunity. Destroy the weapon first. The cataphract is a moving fortress equipped with yes, almost Yes, somebody didn't do their armor. side quest. It incorporates a bipedal MT as its core, making it a highly versatile threat. That would be me. That MT core is also its vulnerability. Focus your fire there, and it can be beaten. You are our best chance. What do you say? I don't- I mean, they both seem pretty important. Can I repeat the briefing without listening? Or can I just read it? Yeah, so either take out the main forces or super weapon. Right, that's- I mean, that seems pretty important.
God, I wish I could just like... Why is it up to me? Like, don't you guys have other mercenaries? Let's take the route that will cause more loss of lives. I, I do feel like that would probably like be that labor shortage. I'm literally the only one. You know, take the job someone else will. Who else works for us? <laughs> it's like it's like a three man job. I beat them on the arena. So, okay, so you don't kill them, because chat- I thought, like, you go down the list and kill them all, but Chatty Stick was still there. So he's fine. But, like, it really did seem like it killed Z. I was fighting next to a super weapon, I feel like a huge piece of shit. I think we should take- we should destroy the special forces craft. I think the arena was a simulation. I think some of them are, at least. Cause there's like the the um description for some of the fights feel like like you have to put them down. That's what it sounds like. But some of them do like you are in an actual simulation room, so I feel like those are kinda obviously just a simulation. But then there's like the ones that are like, you have to put an end to his ego or something like that. I'm like, okay. Yeah, go and tell Nero I've simulated murdering him a thousand times. <laughs> Let's talk about fighting them for real. Ah, uh, like as if you fought them for real. Okay, well I guess they're not dead then. True, if you don't consider it canon, I guess it doesn't matter. Can always fix that. Um, well... What if whoever else they deploy can't do it? Okay, I'm thinking, I th I'm gonna go for the super weapon. That also sounds way more fun, because it sounds like an actual boss. I don't know, it could be harder though. We could be making a huge mistake. Oh my freaking eye, so itchy. Eye so itchy. Yeah, we like to joke about killing them. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have enough? I have enough for the Fermi's arms. I'll be zooming. There we go. We have the full Fermiza set except for the head. What's the head look like? Wait, was that the hammerhead one? Oh, that's that one. Oh, boo! That one looks dumb. I don't want no Fermiza head. Oh, the AP goes up. I might... Just the helmet. Haha, we killed you trying to feed your family. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Why is the default so much... So good? Shouldn't be. The flathead look. It's like he's looking up and he can't look straight. And there's this. That's. That's E102 Gamma from Sonic for sure. <laughs> it's mouth open. Um. I'm not flipping that. Gamma Omega? Yeah, make Gamma. Do it. I think I have the... Oh, it's a different... Oh, wait, no, it's just because it's... Colored weird. 
Wait, it is a different one. Melander C3. Oh, it is different. <laughs> Melander, Homelander. The Nightbot told you to be supporting Oliver. Yeah, thanks very much. You weren't sold until the Oliver. Oliver, it worked. Thank you. Okay, I guess we'll go with this. With what we have. I like the weapons. I don't have any chips. Yeah, it's from Twin Peaks. Wait until they find Oliver's just a simulation. No, he's not! Don't say that he's real! I love the Fermi's outfit. Outfit. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna go on this mission. But first, I'm gonna take a quick second and eat some uh, potato skins that I bought earlier. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna do this one. I've decided on just the, the one where I beat this big monster with some crap. Reading the strengths and weaknesses, if he can get to that point. I feel like Wesker would be ahead. I started by writing the ending. <laughs> Wesker will win because I want him to, exactly. Activating combat mode. Wesker, he's not a- Wesker's not an idiot, he's very smart. It's just that... He's got- oh, this shot is so pretty. He's got quite the ego. Well, it depends which Wesker we're talking about, too. Because Ari 4 Wesker, who, like, set his whole plan to Ada, is a big dum-dum. Hell yeah. Oh, I hear the... Hellfire is also a mech in Battletech. Ooh! Ada Wang, <laughs> yeah. Poor Ari 4 Wesker, yeah. I have a theory, though. I have a feeling that Wesker told Ada on purpose because he was testing her loyalty to him. Because he saw her talking to Leon. And so he's like, Shit, this bitch is going to betray me. Um, so he already has a backup plan. Like he probably already went in and extracted whatever Amber he needs. And so when Ada, like, called up, be like, I got the Amber. He's like, he didn't say he already got it, but he already had it. But yeah, yeah, he was playing 40 chess. I really, that's my theory. That he's, he just said that to test her. Because at that point, if she's in, she's in. Like, if she agrees to killing billions of people, she'll never leave, like, she's in. But if she's gonna betray him then, then she'll never join him, so he'll never be able to trust her. This is stuff I've been thinking about. <laughs> no, I've just been spending a lot of time thinking about RE4. Anyway. Machine, Speaking of Resident Evil, this is just Heisenberg music again. Whoa, you're much smaller than I thought you were. Ouch. That leak? Oh, I'm gonna get run over! My kick doesn't do shit. No, I got shot up. God, that attack is so bad. 
Like, it's great, it's just not on him because he keeps moving. Whoa! Just restart. The Ada Betrayal traumatized Wesker's much she called him a trust problems with Excella. I think Wesker cares about. I don't think he'd ever get traumatized or something. I think he's just cuckoo. I think he's a little cuckoo bird. There we go, that's more like it. Even bother. Yeah, I knew he was gonna run over. I just thought maybe I'd have more time. I mean, I'm just gonna attack him when I think I can. Yeah, look at the little legs in the middle. I didn't hit him. Yeah, he really is only vulnerable in the middle. His hitbox is hard to hit. His dangly legs. Yeah, because like the side. Is it hit in the back though? Oh my god! Backing that ass up! <laughs> Destroy the PCASP machine, cataphract. I mean, how else are you gonna react when that backs that ass up? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I couldn't. Dude. I have to get like right up in there. Fuck. <laughs> Can we do a dump burp with a a mech? Transmission. Destroy the PCASP machine. Cataphract. Cataphract incoming. Let's even take damage early on. Great. Hurry, missiles, hit him! It's too fast for even my missiles to hit. Stun him! Oh, I have to be in the middle. I just needed to hit him. Because I don't know if I would have made it in the middle. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm getting toyed around out here. This fight is hard. 
I just have to try to maneuver as best I can, just shoot the front. It's it's hard though. I was expecting it to be so movie. I thought he was gonna be a bigger tank, and so like his target would be easier to hit. So like this thing is like a super weapon that they're worried about. I should attack the other army. Is it too late for me to change my mission? I mean, I don't know. I can't imagine this. Oh my god, it won't let me attack. Yeah, it takes up so much of this. They're... You know, I'm over here like this is it, but it's... it does a lot of damage. You can still switch. Sign like a Star Destroyer in the front of it can fire every gun has you. Yeah, but there's no guarantee that murdering the people would work. Hell yeah, there we go. Shit, I didn't have stamina. He keeps stunning me. gonna turn. Go! Oh, the wall! No, just let me get to his face! <sighs> yeah, it does take a lot of damage to be spots. Just trying to line up without getting stunned is so hard. I know it's it's beating me, but but I feel like not for long. Oops. When is- I, is it only when the health bar comes up that I can hurt it? Okay, no. Take damage already. Let me see your face! The stun! Oh my god, I can't even fucking shoot him because he's stunning me. His face. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Ow, I'm gonna die. Just drove over me. Shoot him. Jesus. <laughs> he just drove right over me. Dude, I was like spamming RB or yeah, RB. I was just like, use your missile, dude. That was fun. Mission accomplished. That was a fun fight. Forget about this Raven character. Borrowed licenses are always trouble. Huh. Why are you in 
what you're doing here on Rubicon. Was she talking to me? Well, I mean, she'd have to be talking to me. Weapon is surpassed Metal Gear. I feel like we did the right thing, right? Because that thing was pretty deadly. That would have wiped out a lot of people. You again. I'm a busy man. You again. For the likes of you. I know. So I hear. Must be a tough time to be the Vesper's deputy commander. Get to the point. The plan to raid the PCA. You're going to need more pawns on the board. Of course. You're here to hawk your services again. Very well. I'll consider that mutt of yours part of the effort. One more thing. Show my hound some respect. Gen 4 is as good a pedigree as any other. You hear that, Snail? Snail. His name's Snail, and he's talking like that. Raven, thank you for taking the cataphract mission. Uncle Flatwell was pleased. He called you a valuable asset. Wow. What With your help, maybe we can beat the corporations and the PCA. No, we need to stand on our own two feet. That's how we'll win. Snails are very dignified creatures. Yeah, we'll see about that. Attack the old spaceport. Attack the base size by the seas by the planetary closure administration. Destroy all birth warships. Mid route rendezvous with friendly craft. Extra rewards based on numbers of enemies destroyed. So, did we affect an ending related thing? Or was that just for funsies? Uzumaki made you hate snails. Yeah, I like snails. Hi, Rusty! Here's the briefing from my CEO. He called me buddy. With the plan. Again. This is V2 Snail. I shall brief you on the operation. He is his CEO. I guess I missed that. You will be under my direct authority. Consider it a rare privilege. We will oh, privilege. Well, we gotta take the good with the bad. Oh, suppression fleet. Is he gonna come with me? Like, will we see him? Oh my god. My objective is to help him? That's cool, though. We're we're still fighting alongside each other. Solid plan, but there's a catch. Disruption of PCA comms won't last long. I'll come support you when I finish on my end. Wait, the boss fight that I just did. The objective is to seduce him. <laughs> So someone looks at you, like everybody looks at Rusty. I mean, can you blame everyone? See you on the battlefield, Rusty. Be safe. If this mission succeeds, the corporations will deal the PCA a major blow. Ignore V2's snotty attitude. Just focus on your own work. The shot is cool too. Damn. Commence mission. Destroy all the burst warships. Code one five. Intruder detected. Sharing all base personnel. I was locked on. Threat evaluation. Is that just a pulse speaker? Yeah, 
Oh my god, he, we're in the same presence of each other. Oh my god, oh my god, what if I say something really stupid? The fuck? Forgetting RB like makes him stop. Uh oh, oh no, there's no ground. Yes, there is. Oh yeah, this thing that we've been fighting like how many times? Hey buddy, I've taken out the relay mast. Hey buddy, yo, look at it go. I love this mission. Code five. Target confirmed. Moving to intercept. External comms are out. What's going on? I did all that. Oh, it's tipping. Look at that. Look at my work. Use new farming mission, even <laughs> if it doesn't pay the best. <laughs> Anything to hear Rusty call me, buddy. Open fire. Looks like you got them all, 621. You there, buddy? Bad news. PCA's external comms are back online. <laughs> They've got warships heading your way. Hold out till I reach you. Oh my god, we're gonna fight together! Here's the catch. Resupply while you can, 621. I need my Sherpa. Sherpa? Back. Oscar said Matisse, I'm assuming it's an imposter. <gasps> That's not me. Freaking underscores. Missed. I wanted to stay up high so Rusty could see me. Go on and see him. 
towards the Silent Hill Sirens again. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Go, oh, you can do it! like a frog right now, just <laughs> hopping around, <laughs> conserving energy. Let's play on Epic. All these Wesker Sims. How dare they? I was a Wesker Sim before you were even born! Wait. Agni and Rudra? Oh my god. Oh my god. Nobody panic. Uh, looks like we've got high ranking PCA officers. Okay, everybody remain calm. Sorry I to keep you waiting. <laughs> I've got your back, buddy. Hope you've got mine. Okay, nobody say anything stupid. He's he's already look he's <laughs> he's already like ready to get to work and I'm just standing here like ogling him. Oh my god, it's a 2v2! This is like the part of Zelda Cry 3 where Virgil joins Dante as they fight Arkham together. Are we gonna trade weapons? One down, Rusty. Hi, ally. Oh my god, look at him. Wait, where's the other dude? Where is he? Rusty, what are you doing? What are you doing all the way over here? You get stuck? No, I can't. Oh my god! Oh, a double stunned. Nice work, buddy. Glad you're on my side. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, you too. We are a good team. Shit, god damn. He's stupid. That was stupid. I'm just gonna think we're... I'm just gonna think we're lame. Oh! Rusty, I did that. Might as well have said you two. <laughs> oh my god. We should be holding hands. Oh, he's got the... Okay. Jot down the name of his armor. <laughs> oh my god, next time... Next time Rusty and I fight together, I'm just gonna be wearing his armor. I'll be like, oh yeah, you know, just coincidence. It's not because I'm obsessed with you or anything. He is the gamer core. <laughs> Rusty simp. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna try to grab his hand. I mean, it's pretty close. He's kind of blending in with the... Can we have a different backdrop? This is not very romantic. Look, ally. Picking up something. That's right. It's even better. I've sent you a marker. 
There's something there. Rusty, we where? Rusty, let's, we gotta go check it out. Look, I'm just trying to look cool, like I have the initiative, but now I look like a fool because I just went to the lion. Set her ground, Rusty. Look out! Ah! <laughs> what? What is that thing? I don't know. Let's kill it. Oh shit! It's Gravedigger from Resident Evil Three. Another PCA weapon. What the fuck is hitting me? Rusty, help! Rusty, get out of the way! It's a sea weapon. cares about my safety. Oh my god. Does he even have a health bar? Oh my god, those are grinders. Please don't hurt Rusty. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh? That sky. To protect the convergence. Yeah, the coral going through him is nuts. Is Rusty okay? Like the PCA has helped itself to the Institute's relics. Six two one. Rest up at base. But is Rusty come up with a plan to deal with our new friend? But is Rusty okay? He, I mean, he's fine. He's way cooler than I am. I made it out. Should see, probably made it out. He has a name. The coral. If we don't take it out, no one's going to reach the convergence. So what was he doing all the way over there if his goal was to protect somebody that was far away? Guess he was just like on vacation and then he emerged, he's like, wait, it's a threat, I gotta get back to work. I didn't bring you all the way here for nothing. Ten thousand pictures? No. You blame me though, he's so cool. Hi, Moonless. He's okay for now. Three new messages. Three? Is that from Rusty? Tell me how. Heard the news, Taurus. Ugh. Ice worm, huh? You just keep tripping. I've been trying to repurpose him, maybe. Using the coral well, to it. I got something that might it. interest you. Sent you a briefing. New mission? It's already past midnight. This is V8 Pater. Your performance in the spaceport. Whatever. Was Where there's a Pater, there's a Rusty. V2 and V4 no, that was snail, never mind. I don't like Pater either. The arrival of that monster, it's more pressing matter. Archibus and Balaam have agreed to a ceasefire. And <laughs> I'm just salty over Cinder. <laughs> It'll take time to formalize our agreement. For Try now, to kill me. I'll send you another request. And then the last message is from Rusty. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. B rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. B you have entered the upper ranks. May these what? encounters further guide your technique. Metal gear. Oh my god, so that's a fight, Rusty. Oh no, I hope I don't have to fight. Oh! She's got a whole bunch of colors. We actually fight Carla, Carla. That's cool. There he is! Can I look at him? Fourth squad leader of the Vespers, the Archivist Group's Augmented Human Squad. Discover through the recruitment program operated by Schneider, an Archivist affiliate. 
Rusty so quickly distinguished himself that he was selected to join the upper echelons of Vespers in less than half a year! Rusty received augmentation surgery prior to joining the Vespers, and though the precise details are unclear, he has declared himself to be of the 8th gen. I mean, but I, I don't have to kill them. Whoa! Look at the anima from Final Fantasy X! <laughs> so you see Rusty's gonna wonder why I have his emblem. His emblem and his armor. Can we already get his armor? Here, he has... Wait, do you have to beat him to see what he has? Because I, I recognize um, the core. It's the gamer one. <laughs> Doctrier? So... That's his whole set? Okay. So... You're telling me we gotta go look like... Rusty now. <laughs> Nacho. I like, yeah, I can never remember that name. The Notch. The Rusty Notch. So... I don't know, I really like the, the Frieza... Vermeezer. The hell is this? Oh, I, I don't want to do the shields. Those are boring. Um... Stun Baton! It looked like it didn't even do anything! <laughs> oh, there we go. So the regular hit doesn't do anything. But a charged one. Oh, he can blow him up too. Ah, oh, that's cool. Like, there's a stupid one. And then I guess that's if you spam it, because it probably can do like multiple hits. And then if you charge it, it does that. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's really fast. There's like no cooldown. But it's like way weaker. Three hits. Three hits. You're the big scurly brawler that protects them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to look exactly like him. But hypothetically, if we did, we would look really cool. Plus his his look, um it would give him more AP. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm like Freaking Um Grenade Launcher. Okay, nothing new there. Yeah, can we get a chainsaw? I don't think any of these are new either. That's so, like... Like, the upward thrust and the QB thrust are, like, so pathetic there. And, like, the thrust is slightly worse on that one, but it's way better in other regards. Condescending Aiden. I know, I miss her. We didn't know what we had until she was gone. We already have the light bulb, so he's gonna be carrying me. Oh, shit. No, he's gonna be like, oh, we have so much in common. You're gonna steal him away from me. <laughs> oh, that recharge is way better. What's the goal? <laughs> oh, Enzo! <laughs> I need close range assist. Whatever that means. So. 
So does that also apply to melee weapons if you like combine that with the pile bunker? Uh, I'm near the end of chapter three. Oh, all three of you at once? <laughs> Look, you're so flustered you can't even type. I would guess so too, but... I don't know the meaning of this game. I do like long range stuff though. But I definitely tend to fight closer. Because I like the melee builds and I like the kicking. Yeah, let's let's get that one. Multi-lock correction. I don't care. Alright, we got a new booster. We got whatever that thing is. I think we don't need a new generator. I got the Fermiza builds. What if I, like, just match his head? <laughs> you just rage quit when you think it's last boss? Nah, nah, you can do it. Turn him into dinner. Okay, well, here, um, uh, uh. I have three more missions before I assume we get the chapter three conclusion. So let's get these. O'Keefe. For a second, I thought it, Frieza was him, and I'm like, he looks like me, and then I see the green. Keep originally a member of the older generation of augmented humans during the Island 4 disturbance. Worked as an agent carrying the espionage activities. <gasps> we got a stealther. He was later headhunted by Archivist's information department and agreed to sign up on the condition that they provided him the Generation 9 augmentation surgery to counteract coral burn-in on his brain. <gasps> Oh, he's got those legs. It was cool. I really like his color scheme. Subject AC, Baron Flower. Call sign V3 O'Keefe. Baron. A final girl build, if you will. Commencing a Poorly experiment, people. Yeah, it's messed up. Main system. Activating combat mode. It's like burning on his brain. Like too much too much experimenting. Is the kick. <laughs> I didn't mean to do the kick there. Oh! I think that was thanks to the, the close range thing. Here, O'Keefe. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Well, shit, if he has coral rot on his brain, I'd also be high as a kite all the time. <laughs> and his freaking emblem's an eyeball. That's probably dilated as shit. Good for him. Cinder Carla. You actually get to fight her. <laughs> the ringleader of our idea, it's chief of the near, responsible for basic specifications, all the organization's products, specialist in data processing and machine design, and a fount of knowledge with an, an imaginative genius, Cinder Carla has produced a long line of eccentric and fanciful weaponry quite unlike those found in a corporate catalog. Yeah, 
Yeah, we fought some. I like how... How many different colors she is. She's chaotic. Her state of design philosophy. What use is a killing machine that can't get a good laugh? So that's why she made the... Sweeper weapon? I like that. I like his name's Cold Call. Cold Call? I'm just gonna talk to him. The Jim Morrison of Mech Pilots. Oh dear. Oh, I'm Frieza. That aptitude evaluation program. Number 11. Rank. What is this? Rank, what is this? She looks cool. I'm busy, but you can have this old data. She has like knee pads. Main system. She kind of that mech kind of has like a mechanic look to her, like uh, like a traditional mechanic, like overalls and stuff. Where are you? Oh. I got stunned too. I'm gonna die. <sighs> Corn cob weapon, she must be from Ohio. A long way from home, cowboy. I know the stamina got me. Dude, I'm missing. Gonna kill me again. <clears throat> Main system activating combat mode. I have to be aggressive, but also That- that one attack. If I get hidden, it's over. Main yeah, EMP mode. too. I melt. Can I hit you? You're red stunned. Why are you taking my meter? Main system activating combat mode. Oh my god! What the fuck? I was so far and I still died. I don't know what actually killed me. It was probably just like some straight missiles. She gets real mad when she's about to die. 
Yeah, I went from 90 to 100. I hate when I go up like that. Honestly, at that point, it's like DPS check. Like, you have to kill her before she kills you. Nice. <laughs> that was intense. Nice. The data contained an unauthorized message. We apologize. What? Terminating evaluation. Terminating evaluation? What? She said, I don't know about the sim? The sim what? Hey, Suko! Happy birthday! What'd you have for dinner? To include that grading in the data. Oh, I thought she was doing something illegal or something. Hacked the sim data for the reader to be cheeky. Yeah, let her! Why, everyone has such a stick up their ass in this place. Since I like a stagger build, definitely. So stagger... We upped our melee. Maba All My says, not allowed. Oh, a beer tower. That sounds fun. Cold call. He did cold calling, I guess. Dead sled. Dead sled? Isn't that a movie? Or am I imagining that? Uh, independent Merc who bargained his way into an effortless entry to Rubicon. Having anticipated the extra planetary corporations for a as well before they made their move. A specialist in corporate wet work. Wet work? Like wet work or wet work? Cold call removes undesirable elements on the behalf of those who do not wish to be seen getting their hands dirty. Quick to identify a fellow assassin, he claims that you can smell a real killer right through their AC. Yeah, wet work is more Geno's thing. Is this Geno's mech? <laughs> Assassinate is wet work? Yeah, you know what else is wet work? Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> I just want to know what kind of wet work. Jackpot. Jackpot. Hey, Suko, thanks for 278 bits. Cheers. Dead, oh, Dead Sled, the brand of coffee. Think, yeah, I was like, I know a Dead Sled. It, yeah, they have the Dead by Daylight coffee. I know I was just talking about something Dead Sled. Thank you. I love my Derek. We should watch that along with Austin Powers. Hey, Dead Sled, I would like some coffee. Hopefully not overpriced twenty dollar coffee. It's just regular coffee with a fucking Dead by Daylight logo on it. What do you need twenty dollars for? Get over yourself. It's not even twenty. It's like thirty. Get over yourself, Dead Sled. I'll just get coffee and print it out. Print that picture out myself. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him before he kills you! You doofus! Spec <laughs> has no idea why you're yelling about coffee. He's like, what's coffee? Activating combat mode. I should've... <laughs> I just tried to kill him before he killed me. Hey, dead sled. Coffee sucks. Missed. Kill him. <laughs> I 
Oh, should we barista? I don't barist. Main system. Activating combat. And that's a weird thing to say. But if you want me to sell you some dead sled coffee <laughs> for twenty dollars, when it's just like freaking regular Dunkin' Donuts coffee with a picture of Trapper on it, I got you. I'm dying. Main system activating combat mode. Activate combat mode. Somebody spent 100k channel points on? Save them. Trust me. One of my favorite part about this game is when you press L2 and it doesn't do your melee. That's my favorite part. Oh, great. I'm stuck behind a wall. No, oh, you fool! Oh, you cheater! <laughs> he just happened to slide off the ledge. Main system. Activating combat mode. Oh, you fucker, how do you keep finding yourself on ledges and crap? How are you doing this? Missed. Spam your mouse for melee, nothing happens. Same shit, different, different day. You know where you are. Oh, I still used it. He got me. With mechas, they are, which I really am excited for if they ever release the universe th three. I love those games. Stunned to death. <laughs> Poilers, yeah, I would with EMP laser shaka and kicky fetish. <laughs> I'll show you kicking fetish. <laughs> As I miss, like really pathetically. Dude, I like didn't even hit him. Fuck off, dude. Yeah, this game's pretty hard. Main system activating combat mode. Get good. 
Like, I haven't heard that before. Oh my god! I freaking held L2! Two separate times! Nothing's happening! Why do my was get eaten? I'm over here like, okay, that, I guess I held it too early. And then I hold it again, and it still doesn't go off. And it's like, what more do you want from me? <sighs> Here's me for Zero's pretty solid. I like that you can be their student. Honestly, like, Street Fighter VI World Tour was basically Xenoverse. It was great. We need more stuff like that, where you get to be, like, the student of your favorite character. You're a bitch. I still feel the same way about your coffee. Oh, my kick wasn't enough. No, oh, I was so close. Yeah, I, mean, I have hold down L3 and triangle and L2. <laughs> and then right on the D-pad in that order. Yeah, you're not going crazy. I s like, you're- it's like- you can only use your melee buttons when you're, like, completely recovered from everything else, plus an extra 200 frames. It's like, you really have to wait to use melee. It's kind of annoying. Like, you can't- it doesn't feel like you can s seamlessly combo it too easily. Like, at, like, just there. <laughs> no, I don't want to be in photo mode. Like, just there, when I was doing the charge, I was holding L2. Didn't matter. Main system. Activating combat mode. Right, that's the thing, like, it's inconsistent, because sometimes you can combo it, like, super smoothly, and then other times just like, Oh, a stray missile hit you, but you didn't see it, so it cancelled your L- your L2. Yeah, because if you get hit at all, it's just like, it completely resets. Like, unless... I think maybe your stability matters for that, but... It's annoying. Same with hold missiles. Yeah, it's like, while you're charging anything, it's just like, stray missile? Back to... back to formula. What do you mean, back to formula? You know how much I've sacrificed? See, like that? That was super smooth, but I got cancelled out of it anyway. Take that! Like a refund on your coffee, sir, Mr. Dead Sled. Hold missiles and press something else, your hold gets cancelled and you're fucked. Right! It's like they want you to, like, 100% commit to whatever you're doing. And if you don't, it's just like, that. again, back to formula. Kick doesn't come off you sometimes? Oh, that's annoying. My kick sometimes, like, comes out too well. I think that might just be my controller. I think my L3 button's like really sensitive. <laughs> peace be with you, coffee. Dude, there's a place. There's a place called Peace. Peace Love and Little Donuts. And they have some bomb ass coffee. So you saying peace and coffee made me crave that. Caught him on the backspin. Hell yeah. <gasps> I don't want to fight Rusty next. I'm going to swoon. Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number nine, rank B. Subject AC, Steel Haze. Call sign Steel Haze. Rusty. He's so cool. Commencing evaluation. No. Rusty, I love you. Activating combat mode. With a shot. Me and Rusty are gonna go on a date here later.
It is very Pacific Rim. Steel Hates. Where are you? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Can't kick him, he's too fast. Okay, we'll come and kiss it all better. Concluding evaluation. I just wanted to impress him. Did I impress you? Buddy destroyed. I hope he sends me a message later like, Damn, you're cool. <laughs> Date C with you. No, I don't want to take a pick and stole your raids. This is when I killed the love of my life. Alright, first things first. We're, I'm just gonna slowly turn into him. I do have to change my. I'm gonna like change my colors and everything just like him. If I select him, can I see his mech parts? Wait, how do I select him? Like here? Oh, AC data? Like on on him. Oh, I thought that was my AC data. Wait, here? In the assembly. That's this. I'm gonna change my AC oh. name. To... Ultimate Epic Gamer 92. Thank you for 19 months. Oh, oh, it's it's okay. I, I see. I see data under preset. Okay. I see. I wasn't even thinking of this. I didn't see this menu before. Um, data uses weapon bay function, which has not been unlocked. Oh, I see. What's the weapon bay function? He's got assault armor. So he's he's got the notch tree. I want to like hover over them, <laughs> but he looks so cool. Oh my god, so angular! I really hope they make model kits or at least figures of these guys. I would definitely get a rusty. Yeah, of the older games, but. But not Rusty, but um, if they make model kits of the past games, that means it's probably going to be pretty certain that they make ones for this game. Hey, welcome, Rogue Master. Of course, settle mine. Thanks for tuning in. Dexter Morgan when it comes to mechs, because well, I want to build a model kit. <laughs> if they're at least doing one, and it's Rusty. Why wouldn't it be rusty? I mean, it could just be the default, like, training mech or like the one on the cover. But it should should be rusty. Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. At least doing one. That doesn't mean they're not doing two. Armored Core has been great so far. <laughs> Waiting for you, know what I mean? I'm scared. Rusty's burning AC as an item. That's so cruel. <laughs> I just thought of somebody buying the Rusty one and setting it on fire in real life, like making it melt, and then putting... 3D printing their own figure. Putting it right in front of the burning melted Rusty <laughs> and take a photo. <laughs> that is somebody going through the effort of doing that. 
All right, we have one more arena. Uh, <laughs> Leader of the Junker Coyotes, a major dozer for us. Bruce originally hired by R.A.D. His smooth-talking, affable nature quickly caught the attention of Carla, who found him quite unlike the average dozer. When it was discovered that the man was a psychopath and pathological liar, he fled, taking a considerable amount of R.A.D.'s funds and technology with him, a loss that was too great for Carla to tolerate. See, descriptions like this make it sound like we're not just going into a simulation. It sounds like we're like a hitman going to kill him. The default I see is in a collector's edition, so I'd be disappointed if that was the only model they made. Oh yeah, that's true. That's why they should at least make two. They make it seem real for sure. Yeah, with situation like this, yeah. But it's like other ones, not so much. But um I'm sorry, but his name's Milktooth. <laughs> this is no trade off is real. That means I killed Rusty. Also, yeah, his emblem looks like Anima, so this guy's just gonna be making me think of Seymour, who's also a psychopath and probably a pathological liar. Like Seymour's going around calling himself Milk Tooth. You're Milk Tooth? Where's your. Subject you probably got a weird face. Milk Tooth. Commencing evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. Milk tooth. Easy. <laughs> How's that, Seymour? I know it's you. I'm coming here to finish the job. <laughs> I don't ever want to see you in Final Fantasy X ever again. Did my call sign B? Rune B? I don't know. <laughs> Wesker Simp. Rusty Simp. My description will be had to get a restraining order on Rusty. Ooh, incoming call. Congratulations. You have surpassed oh. rank B. It is a great honor to witness your evolution as a mercenary. Oh, thank you. All mind exists for all mercenaries. If I never hear from Rusty again, I will 100% be convinced that these are not just simulations. No, Rusty's gonna call, okay? He said he'd call. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> Listen, Rusty, don't even bother picking up. Yeah, just let it go straight to voicemail. You get so excited looking at your phone, it's like... It's, it's, see, it's like, checking all mind or whatever, like, just voicemail. Nothing new. Hospital calling because Rusty had you on the closest next of kin. <gasps> no! <laughs> Alright, eliminate Honest Brood. I just did that! I just- <laughs> I just did that in the arena. Eliminate Honest- wait, I did, right? He's right here! It was Milktooth! Now I gotta do it officially? Holy shit, well I practiced. But, I mean, something tells me it's not gonna be as easy as it was in the arena. Didn't I just say I better never see you again? And look at this. Eliminate Honest Brute. A dozer hiding on grid 12. I'll cut to the chase. Please do, I already killed him. This is about the ice worm. That institute relic you had a run in And he with. took that personally. Corp 
Orcs might stand a chance Packed into my game. the PCA they were teaming up against. But that monster is a whole other story. You can't just throw bodies at it. The thing that makes it such a pain in the ass is its perpetual More like Cinder, because she's not rusty. And she tried to kill us. Coral and I haven't let that down. Takes advantage of the Coral's directivity. Ordinary weapons can't touch it. So let's get extraordinary. I can make you something that'll punch a hole in that shield. But I'll need your help. You'll be heading to Grid 012. One of the first sectors they built. And it's barely holding up. That's where a little rat who betrayed R.A.D. is hiding out. Goes by the name of Honest Brute. His AC Milktooth was built by us. <laughs> So it's only flaws that it's piloted by him. Ooh. When he ran from R.A.D., he didn't just take credits in tech. He also took a secret project of mine. And that secret project is what we'll need to bust open the Ice Worm shield. I hope it's an energy railgun like Jill Valentine style. Because it's a it's a war it's the grave digger from RE3. So we need the laser railgun. Like an RE3, even though it's not used for Gravedigger, but it's, you know, you know where I'm going. You ready for this, tourist? Yup. No one's gonna miss Brute. <laughs> and we all stand to game. That's so mean, but I agree, because it just reminds me of Seymour. What? Beaver Slammer? <laughs> I'll tell you where to go. Welcome, tourist. Knuckles? It's a to enjoy the company of a visitor from so far away. Brutes. We're here to take back what you stole from us. Well, well, well. It isn't oh, Brutes. Yes. You're a friend of Carla's. Splendid. Any friend of Carla's is a friend of mine. Something tells me you don't mean that. By all means, I like guess. See what I mean, tourist? We need to go deep down. Make sure you keep clear of the laser sensors. We're set to activate the enemy machines. Try is really sketchy. Just for me. What joy. Be still my beating heart. AP at 50%. I'm waiting for you, friend. Fidgeting anxiously before the big dance. I do hope I'll keep up, but the anticipation is part of the fun. Oh, fuck. Two repair Ooh. kits remaining. The enemy is deploying a shield. You'll need to get behind it. Killed him. Damn it, the lock on. Where are you? This guy's like, <laughs> what? Did you not see me? There's more, more in, uh, south? <laughs> Down? Not south. Wait, is it. Is that a door? So I saw that first, but it didn't look like a door. Holy shit! You don't know I'm here. Jeez, Rude, you're so paranoid. We've got him cornered. Don't forget, the guy's a rat. This won't be smooth sailing. Where are you? Some kind of hangar? The 
Is he to come down here? Oh god, he speaks in third person. You're welcome. Enemy oh, I don't want to do him a favor. Looks like he's Dude's weird. Good. Honestly, All yeah, right, we tourists. like really put him out of his we'll misery, dude. We'll I think the name Milktooth was getting to him. Lost Lands Music Festival in Ohio. I have not, and I've never even heard of it. Where is it? Where in Ohio? He's not a raised a kid. Oh my god, the expenses! <laughs> oh shit, we got a free sub! Detonating bazooka! Thornville? I don't know where that is either. <laughs> It's a dubstep music festival. Oh, that I'll, I'll never go. Not a fan, sorry. This is Chatty Stick RAD. Thanks for putting down Brute. The chief's already in the workshop tweaking the rail cannon, and I've never seen her happier to be at work. That is all. Later, tourist. Bye. Oh, we got red! That's fun. Here, so about this bazooka... Oh, is it on the other arm? Did I miss it? I don't know what it looks like. There it is. Special bazooka developed by All Mine creates a chain of explosions. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know, I just easily went to buy it. But that's that's pretty cool, but that would replace my sword, and I don't want to. Now, if it was on the other arm, I would consider it but it's not wait oh you can buy okay i get it yeah that, that makes that makes sense you can't buy it again because you already have it in that arm Is the normal bazooka right now with the sword? Well, looks like I'm gonna use the special bazooka. And it's pretty fast. Let's try it out. I'm overburdened, though.
That's what we have. Ooh. Oh, overburdened. Yeah, there's a lot of weapons. I don't know what I want to do for this one, because I really like the Songbird on the one arm. I mean, I guess I could... Hold on. What's the lightest head? <laughs> oh, the Fermiza head's light, but it looks stupid. Can we get the... Here, what's another... It's a lighter head. Melander. Get the other Ava looking on. Oh! Oh! That we could have uh, Rusty's head. <laughs> God, look at that AP though. It drops so much. Melander. Is there OS tuning for weight related things? Yes, weight control. That's... Yeah, that's... Mm, that's just to, like, get rid of stuff, though. Oh, that's to unlock weapon bay. So you need that to, to do whatever this thing was, Rusty. Um... I think I'll get the base Melander just because it won't go down that much lower. Man, I don't know. Like, what's... What's an extra 400 difference? <laughs> I have a million dollars. Yeah, what's an extra, like, minus 400? You get this one, but it only increases AP by like a hundred. Soon to become billions. Yeah, because I really like the weapons. Oh, I don't even have a thing on my my back. Yeah, everything almost everything's gonna overburden me. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to equip that just so I can compare. I don't really mind replacing that one. That shit's kind of boring. I might go with that because that is similar to what I am using. It just, it seems faster and it doesn't go like from above, it's just straight ahead. Which I guess it doesn't really matter. I really want this triple one. <laughs>
Okay, I'm not gonna uh, use them, but I want to buy these just in case. Okay. Let's test out our new weapon. Defend the old spaceport. Cuts 1 a.m. Got a job for you, 621. I gotta go! We've received a request from the Archibus group. Raven, this request comes from our subsidiary Schneider. It concerns the Bertram spaceport, which you Maybe I could at least well, I mean I don't, know. I don't think I'm gonna end up beating chapter three tonight. We've received intel. We've received intel. To retake the base. No. Your objective is to we have to watch Night and Day. And Are you guys awake for Night and Day? We deployed an MT squad to support. Short air stream. Honestly, eight hour stream is pretty normal for me. I try to stream eight hours. Some, I often go to like ten though. I just, I haven't been streaming like as long as usual just because I've been doing other stuff IRL. Always wait for nine day. Yeah, same. I just I don't want to stop playing. This game's too fun, and I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow because I might be caught up in busy housework. Six two one. Don't forget you have MT backup. Which sucks because I want to play. I want to fucking play. Or am I defending? Wait, something's not right, 621. The battle's over already. Find out what's going on. God, he's cool. Finally feel better. Oh my god, look, you, look at you getting a second one because of 90 day. It's your ass play video games. I can't! Oh shit. Raven. I've identified the target. That's the mercenary who took your name. <laughs> that is so cool. Let's see how far they can fly. Whoa, I want that. Wings. Bro, you can have my name. That's- that's the real raven? Did Sephiroth do all this? Oh, we have a new weapon. You can have it. I'll take a new name. Okay. I died. Still his name? Yeah, and I'm saying he can have it back. Dude, they're so proud of that that shot. They want to show it to you every time. Like he's sitting out, standing there, all cool, waiting for us. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take Rusty's name. I mean... Do you read me, Raven? Do you read me, Raven? They so they don't want it back. Yeah, that's the person whose ID we stole like the very beginning of the game, right? Dude, this dude probably just wanted out. He's just like, I'm glad you took my name. I don't want to do this shit anymore. This shit sucks. Jeez. 
you heal? Careful of that pulse blaster. Even that's a cool shot. I'll try it one more time. If I can't beat him, I'll just try tomorrow. Or play more tomorrow. I really have to... Like, at least get ready for that. Well, I say tomorrow, but I mean next time I stream. I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow. Trust me, all I want to do is play this game. They really do want you to see the shot. They're so proud of it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Do you read me, Raven? The lighting and everything. I've identified the target. That's the most. <laughs> the way he today. slowly turns. God, from soft just nails everything they do. They're like, you want cool, do you? Oh, that doesn't even shoot at the target. This gun sucks. I missed my shotgun. Can you not be bad? Tired of getting stunned by everything. <laughs> Got my freaking stamina load already. Thank you, Jesus. Why is my stamina so bad? I feel like I'm an old man right now. I mean, it makes kind of- it makes sense. It's how my brain is feeling right now. Like, my- my brain is basically constantly on 20% stamina. Oh, her raven shit talks? Yeah. Um... This gun- it's cool and all, but... Should we try the pile bunker? <laughs> Let's try it. I haven't really used it. Because it's so close range. It's probably horrible on a boss like this, but... Fuck it. He went to work. We probably I did steal the on. call sign from the wrong guy. Oh shit, I forgot I had that. <laughs> and I just changed it. Oh, I was too, too close to it. Yo, I bunkered him. It's okay, he healed. Honestly, if he's gonna heal, I'm gonna bunker the shit out of him. Oh my god, he had half health! That weapon's basically cheating. Oh, I feel- I can't look at him. <laughs> he's like, how's this for the raven call sign? Well, damn. <laughs> to be fair, he has a pile bunker too. Oh, he did? Well, then that is fair game. He also heals. Look, we got her for another free sub on the way. 
Took out AC and Virgil like nothing. Well, we don't even get to have like a post fight cutscene. No or like chat. So Raven, you cool with me having your name then? All right, see ya. I've looked into the other Raven, the independent mercenary who attacked you. Why I, can I talk? Turns out that Raven isn't an individual. Oh, person. it's a title. It's a title. Passed down generations of mercenaries who champion the free will Raven stands for. Well, that's an awfully interesting coincidence. They choose what to fight for, and take to the skies in flight. If that makes sense. that's what being Raven means, then that's the name I want to keep calling you. Raven. Yeah, Robo. <laughs> We're Raven. Oh, that's cool. I'm still gonna keep Rusty's emblem. That's pretty cool. I like the symbolism behind that, but I also feel like it's also implying that we're gonna step away from, like, all these companies and just, like, do our own thing. That's what it feels like. That's so Raven. The <laughs> Rusty Raven! That's a, that's his only good bar. R&R. &R. Um... So there's this mission and then probably like the mission chapter three conclusion. Man, that mission was really fun. I feel, man, that stupid pile bunker. <laughs> bunker to bunker. It really is a, a high risk, high reward weapon, but at the same time, I feel like if you stagger an enemy, you can get a free bunker hit in like the first two seconds it gets staggered. So if you could just time it right, you'll, you won't miss. But like a cheesy weapon, yeah. Especially if you only when you know when to hit it, like when you know it'll 100% hit. Bust this bunker and take 50% off his health. <laughs> Does that sound like a sale? <laughs> Come in and bust this bunker, you get 50% off. Oh, <laughs> uh, I worked hard on it. I love it. It's like a carnival. Like, you know, when you ha like to smash down the hammer and like get to a certain number. 50% Kohl's cash to his ass. Oh, speaking of, thanks for reminding me. I have $40 in Kohl's cash. I gotta go buy something. Um, well, that's cool. I think I could stop here. We'd stop right before the end of chapter three. I want to keep playing, but I have to, I have to not be sleep deprived for once. A bunker buster. <laughs> There really should be more branding. There should be like a freaking, I don't know, sh department store armored core collaboration. Ace, thank you for 34 months. The best you ever. Oh, stop. Oliver, somebody resub for you. This game is ruining your sleep. First game in a while to actually do that. Isn't it great? If it wasn't for like house responsibilities, I would totally accept just this game ruining my sleep, because I never want to stop playing. But I, I recognize that I'm gonna just gonna play worse if I don't sleep, so it's like... I gotta cut my losses. Thank you, Dragon Jays, for five gift subs. It's fucked up your entire sleep schedule. This game deserves it. I'll do anything for FromSoft games. At this point. They deserve it. Like we were saying before, this game's selling well based on their name only, and it's like something that they probably really wanted to do, and they did it.